and, and wrap a little bit of drought into that and how that influences the situation. At today's tree seminar, we have over 100 attendees. Uh, many of them are Bear County residents and a lot from the outskirt uh, satellite counties. So we have uh, representatives from the green industry, landscape contractors, certified arborists, homeowners, master gardeners, master naturalists. So we have a wide array of different folks attending our tree seminar today. So we want them to better understand what oak wilt is, how to be good stewards of their trees, both on commercial and residential sites, proper pruning times, proper pruning techniques, to watch their neighborhoods, to minimize disease pressure, to be aware how to properly identify it, and who to basically call if problems do arise, uh, not only oak wilt but other tree diseases. We're at the Phil Harburger Park Ecological Center. And the focus is tree diseases, particularly uh, the oak wilt uh, dis disease. So the first thing we did this morning is we had the folks from Bartlett Tree Experts excavate a couple of live oak trees uh, with their air spade and then they set up the injection system for oak wilt. And the uh, oak wilt specialist, Dr. Apple from Texas A&M University, uh, also talked, covering more in depth the science and uh, uh, other factors, uh, how oak wilt comes about and other major uh, tree diseases, particularly in these urban centers and through across the state. So we have a lot of good presenters, a lot of good topics, but the focus is particularly on oak wilt and other uh, major uh, disease challenges that we have in these urban centers as well as throughout the great state of Texas. So we talk about oak wilt a lot. And, and there's a lot of aspects of oak wilt that you really need to know in order to be able to control it. And we have plenty of literature out there um, through the Texas Forest Service and the Ag Extension, uh, uh, AgriLife Extension. Um, there, there's a lot of information out there on how to deal with oak wilt. Now in contrast to that, there are a large number of other tree diseases that are problems on oaks. That maybe even kill more oak trees than, do, than does oak wilt. And there's one thing I, I caution people to keep in mind when we're dealing with all these other diseases that uh, that are not oak wilt and that is that it is important to keep the tree healthy and especially in the Texas environment where we have a lot of extreme climate that uh, causes the trees to weaken and become predisposed to these other diseases that also cause problems. These are things like canker diseases, root rot diseases, some other vascular pathogens. These diseases can also be destructive as well, but the key to those is to keep the tree healthy.